Welcome to this video tutorial on the topic of the analysis phase in the AuraCheck Software 5. In this video, we will guide you through the different analysis options with different patient cases. First of all, we start in the arrangement phase. There are two ways of overlaying the models. For the first option, the baseline and follow-up models are selected. Then we switch to the analysis phase. The AuraCheck software registers the baseline and follow-up models independently. With the second option, we mark certain regions on the baseline and follow-up models that will be used for the overlay or registration of the two models. Marking individual regions is especially recommended in situations where the two models to be overlaid show a lot of discrepancies, but certain regions are identical in both models. For demonstration purposes, we will quickly guide you through this workflow. Initially, the follow-up model is hidden, and we enable the Region tool. The Expand button is enabled, and as soon as you move the cursor to the desired region, a red lasso is displayed. The region that is impacted by the lasso can be increased or decreased by holding the right mouse button down while moving the cursor up or down. Once the size of the impacted region has been determined, we switch to the left mouse button and hold it down, while we move the mouse over the region to be registered. To shift the model, please make sure that the corresponding gesture is performed outside the model region. Afterwards, the same region has to be marked on our follow-up model. We enable the follow-up model and disable the baseline model. From here, the process is identical to the one shown earlier. When done, we display our baseline model again and can now switch to the analysis phase. An information window opens where the software directly displays the average discrepancy between the follow-up region and the baseline geometry. The color scale to the left visualizes the previously calculated numbers. Next, we will take a look at our tool palette with the different analysis functions. We begin with a volume analysis. A volume analysis is ideal, for example, for the baseline model of a prepared tooth and a follow-up model, including the final restoration. For this kind of analysis, a region has to be defined on the follow-up model with the region tool in the analysis phase. We have already marked the region, and next, enable the option Volume. The result of the volume analysis is displayed at the bottom left. Next, you will see a different model for the distance analysis. We enable the distance analysis tool, and the distances between the follow-up and baseline models are calculated in the analysis region and displayed on a color scale. In case no analysis region has been specified, the discrepancy for the complete surface is displayed. To generate a distance analysis of a specific region, a region is defined with the Region tool first. Then the distance of only this region is analyzed. The sensitivity can be set separately for a positive gain and a negative loss. Next we go to the function 2D Section View. The section view facilitates analyzing differences between baseline and follow-up in a 2D section view, while also allowing for metric measurements between the overlaid models in the 2D view. We enable the corresponding tool, and then define a section plane by holding the left mouse button down. Doing this opens the section view on the left side, and displays various arrows on the model. By using these arrows, the section plane can be readjusted.
In the section view itself, you can perform measurements. We click the starting point for the measurement with the left mouse button and define the measuring line while keeping the mouse button pressed. The result of the measurement is displayed in the window at the bottom left. Lastly, we switch to the Tilting Analysis function. In this case, we have opened an orthodontic case. With the Tilting Analysis, the movements of specific regions can be analyzed. These movements, such as tooth movements, for example, are calculated by AuraCheck by overlaying the specified region of the follow-up model a second time with the baseline model. We define the corresponding region then start the tilting analysis. As before, the result of the analysis is displayed in the window at the bottom left. The tilt and rotation are specified in degrees, while the movement is specified in millimeters. The rotation and tilt are determined here based on the center of the analysis region. Additionally, the movement is visualized with arrows that go through the center of the analysis region. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with the AuraCheck software.